G'day folks, just thought I'd show you the inside of my Mott box, aka Electrocutioner Mark 1, or in other words, a microwave oven transformer box. Basically there's two sections to this apparatus, two pairs of terminals. The first set are connected to a single microwave transformer with no capacitors or anything attached. The second set are connected to two microwave transformers with their secondaries in series. The second transformer has its primary shorted and although I believe, didn't think I was running a capacitor when I did the early ARC videos I was actually running a single capacitor. I don't know if this one's any good because I've already shorted and arced them many times and it's probably fried but it was helping I believe. These contactors here are simply so that these switches don't burn out trying to transfer too much current. Just a momentary dead man switch. If anything goes wrong, as soon as I let go of it, the circuit's broken. There's a overload switch there, in addition to a couple of overloads on that filter board. That came out of an old photocopier actually. With a few capacitors hooked up in series, those create quite a significant bang when the arc break, when the arc makes contact. It's actually so loud you've got to wear hearing protection. This top panel is made out of uh, electrical distribution board backing panel. It's a completely non-conductive, very rigid material used for backing of electrical boards and distribution panels. A large sheet of this cost me about $50 Australian and it's well worth its money. Likewise I have a earth terminal going to the common AC earth for discharging and testing purposes. A little AC fan in there as well. It was the biggest AC fan that I had on hand so unfortunately it's not bigger. It just draws a bit of air through the casing past the transformers and out. I find these little switches down here tend to trip before the big one does although I have tripped that big one a couple of times. It's actually rated at 20 amps. If I try and run both transformers at once that will trip. The whole, bit, whole thing fits in place like so. And I use these thumb screws from the old photocopier uh, automatic document feeder mounts. These screws are normally used on Minolta machines for attaching the ADFs. just a bit of particle board off cuts. I built this one a good few years ago but it's done a lot of work so far. Been in storage for about 12 months. Gonna reinstate these uh, Jacob's ladder wires. Apart from that this thing will run again. When operating this device the obviously the push buttons must be held down in order to keep the transformers energized and sparks generally need to be in induced by using a insulated screwdriver or other device got a bit of extra PVC pipe attached to the screwdriver just in case screwdriver is only rated for a thousand volts or so and since I'm putting out way more than that then it's always wise to increase the insulation
and this is why I call it the electrocutioner. Just touching. Sort of like a possum on the power line. Well, that one's fried. <laughs> 